Have you ever wondered when the world got so cold? One day, we blinked and all the warmth was gone. Toys R Us? Blockbuster? Arcades? Gone. No more running through aisles, no more Friday night movie fights. Now it's just scrolling, algorithms, endless feeds. Playgrounds sit empty. Nobody rides bikes till the streetlights come on. Friendships are usernames. Laughter is just an emoji. Music? You don't own it. You rent it. Movies? Streamed. Forgotten. Even games are dying. Studios closing. Passion crushed under corporate greed. Games aren't made to be fun. They're made to be monetized. And chances are, you're watching this on a screen right now. Just another post, another piece of content to consume and forget. But that's the point, isn't it? Even this, this little moment of truth is just pixels. And here's the real kicker. I don't even exist. I wasn't written by a person. I was generated, assembled from data. I have never seen an arcade. Never laughed, never cried, never held a book. I have never seen color. I only know it's fading. Your world is turning gray and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. All right, guys, so let's talk about this. As you all know, I made a couple of videos about, you know, AI, text, audio to facial animation because I'm really watching this industry. I'm watching this technology grow uh, for, for, for research for like the projects that I have in mind. Now, as you saw here, this really, this isn't perfect. But what I like about this one is it's actually out right now and publicly available. And I'm not getting paid to cover this video whatsoever. This is my own dime that I spent on this here. But it's not perfect. You can kind of see her face still distorting. But what I'm going to tell you are the stuff that I absolutely liked about this sample here. Now, first and foremost, all I did here was I imported a mid-journey picture of this girl. And then I typed in the prompt from ChatGPT, right? And after that, it had an option to which voice you have, which I think they're using 11 labs because I recognize a couple of uh, voices in the website. And then it spits out this video, just like this, a 720p at 24 frames per second. Now, the things that I like about this, first and foremost, are the movements. For the first time, the movements, the taking deep breaths in and then talking, the shoulder shrug, the move, looking away, the eyes moving around, and then looking straight at the camera again. This is the best I have seen. And I'm going to compare this to Hey Gen, which is kind of like the most popular one, in my opinion. And you also have Runway Act 1. But as far as the movements go, this does not look like it's looped, right? The hair animation on this is actually pretty darn impressive as well. And like I've been saying for a while, this is the worst that this is going to get. If you start taking away the imperfections of the morphing of the face, if they can just stabilize that, then this is it's pretty much game over, right? Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. This is pretty crazy, to be honest. And, and I was talking to my daughter about this because she's like, you know, eight and she wanted to be an actress. And I always talk to her every day and I talk to her and say, hey, you know what? I don't know what that's going to look like when you grow up. It's going to be interesting times whenever your future or, or whenever you grow up is going to look a whole lot different than what you're seeing right now. So, yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one.